And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, there's your warning in effect till 630. Southeast Tippecanoe, uh, northeastern Montgomery County into Boone, southwest Clinton County. These are kind of riding a little boundary. You know, we've been in the low 80s down Montgomery, parts of Boone, Fountain Counties today. But north of there, it's been 60s and 70s with more rain cool there. So right along the boundary, We've had these storms blowing up with some hail. Reports of hail to penny size in parts of Fountain, as well as Warren, even Boone, and even Montgomery counties, and some gusts over 40 miles an hour. There's the storm now of real interest to our viewing area, south of Clarks Hill. The core of it is just to the northeast of Darlington near Bowers. Now, this is approaching Colfax, so it's this area just south of Colfax. To near Thorntown, that could get some one inch di uh, diameter hail and also some wind gusts of 50 miles an hour. Now, a little farther west, some more thunderstorms here south of Rob Roy, Newtown, Malott, all moving towards Montgomery, southern Tippecanoe County. But that storm is not severe. And once that one gets through, there's not as much uh, forming in Illinois that we could have a few that pop up during the later evening and overnight hours. And north of there, it's just rain and a little thunder and lightning here, Tippecanoe up into Carroll County. These will kind of work in a ring down towards Boone County for the evening hours. In the meantime, though, more storms on the way, uh, but not after a nice stretch of drier, windy and warm weather towards the middle part of the week. And really the entire week will fe uh, feature temperatures in the 80s. And for the evening and any new development we get tonight, can't rule out an isolated severe storm or two, of course, with wind and hail. It looks dry Wednesday, Thursday and warm before more widespread showers and storms develop, not only on Friday, but right into the weekend and early next week. A few of those could be severe, specifically on Monday. As we drop into the 60s tonight, we will pop back up into the low 80s tomorrow, 79 by 3, a high of 81. And even on Wednesday, dry, warm, the warmest day of the year so far after 60s in the morning, a high of 84. This is 1119 tonight, still a few scattered storms around. And notice how we continue to get more scattered storms during the overnight hours and early tomorrow morning. That's 6 a.m. But with time tomorrow morning, specifically mid and late morning, notice how everything kind of shifts north and eastward and we dry out for tomorrow afternoon largely if we get anything it looks pretty isolated at this point with partly cloudy skies and the best chance of any storm would be in the northern half of the area tomorrow afternoon dry tomorrow night dry on wednesday but then as this front sinks southward we're going to increase the coverage of the showers and storms late in the week and definitely into the weekend but it'll still be warm with highs in the 80s and you know again i wouldn't rule out at least some severe weather perhaps over the weekend and specifically on monday after monday though it does look like we'll cool off we'll be back into the mid and upper 60s by tuesday so still a pretty good storm and near colfax right now one inch diameter hail some gusts of 50 possible a lot of lightning in that storm Tremendous too this lightning out there yeah all right yeah. chip thanks well, Rob, some changes for local high school football. Yeah, definitely. The IHS.